Hey everyone, Alan Pan here. I'm with Dr. Tiffany Greco. Um, Hi. What do you do, Tiffany? You're... <laughs> I am a postdoctoral fellow at the Brain Injury Research Center in the Department of Neurosurgery at UCLA, and I work on recovery of brain function after traumatic brain injury. So you know, you know a little something about brains. Just a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we're here today. We're drinking mimosas by the pool. Absolutely. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sunday. Monday. And I got some questions for you about Cerebro. In the X-Men movie, Cerebro is a helmet, it's sort of a device that can be worn on, on a psychic's head. It amplifies their powers so that they can either detect anyone on Earth or even remotely control someone else on Earth. And is there a way that we can control someone's body via the brain with some kind of machine or device? Um, yeah, so the, this is where we get a little bit more in depth with the brain computer interfaces. Mm. So there's been um, a number of different animal studies out there where they've hooked up different electrodes to either um, the scalp or within the brain and then have um, specifically monkeys move either a cursor on a computer screen or move robotic arms by simply thinking about creating the movement and having the visual target in front of them. How do you train a monkey to do that? <laughs> Tasty snack. <laughs> uh, what about uh, specifically uh, research that's done in, in your department? Is there anything going on at UCLA regarding controlling controlling a body via some like implant in the brain or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so um, in addition to brain computer interfaces, um, so the, the problem with a lot of those and creating people is you have to have some sort of a computer apparatus or something that is acting as the middleman. So they tend to be a bit bulky or hmm. difficult or they're incredibly invasive so there's a lot of problems with scar tissue around um, the electro placements and things like that. Um, and in our department um, what is done a lot is work with either uh, Parkinson's or central tremor which are both movement disorders and we can put in these neurostimulators which are akin to a, a pacemaker that you would have put in for somebody's heart and what we think that does is that it helps regulate the oscillations of currents within the brain and helps rectify the the problem of signaling in the brain wow that's really cool and i'm imagining right now i'm editing in footage of that very process. <laughs> so, so how about um, is there is there anything like DIY, like a, a, a kind of a homebrew sort of system for uh, stimulating or controlling? Um, yeah, the human brain? absolutely. So, um, one application of this is called a tens device. It's used a lot in physical therapy and things like that. Um, they put it on your knee, your back, and it kind of confuses your nerves and stops the pain a bit, so you can get through your physical therapy. <laughs> Um, I've seen I've seen other YouTubers actually use that in their videos before, and I I've also heard of it being used uh, in like BDSM dungeons. It's like yeah, you can be really mean <laughs> and be like, <laughs> <laughs> and I mean it gives the uh, turn some people on, I guess. <laughs> whatever floats your boat, my friends. <laughs> you can actually activate the vestibular nerve um, within your ear, and it's called um, galvanic vestibular stimulation. So you oh. can put an electrode over your mastoid process and... What, what's a mastoid process? This thing right here? Yeah, so right, right here, kind of under your, your ear, behind your jaw. Okay, it's, it's like, like this bump soft, here. Squishy. Yeah, so it's like right there. Kind of hurts <laughs> if you poke it. Maybe we should like zap like, right there and see what happens. <laughs> right yeah. here, folks. Yeah. So, so galvanic vestibular stimulation. Yes. Electrodes right here. So electrodes that... there that um, activate your vestibular nerve and what that does is it, it upsets your um, sense of balance. So basically if you stimulate on either side it confuses your visual perception as well as your balance and makes you kind of feel like you're rocking on a boat. Um, so you can actually activate, activate, activate and make somebody kind of sway and do these <laughs> funny things. That's awesome. Um, that sounds really cool and that's something that's something I could do like without without like a university lab, like I could just do that on my own. Um, I don't recommend <laughs> I am not um, endorsing sticking electrodes to yourself. 
but yeah, you can absolutely um, simulate and if you have a strong enough and sustained current, you can actually kind of get a person to physically turn and change their movement by just activating that nerve. So not recommended, but I could, I could do it. Yes. I could pass electricity yes, technically, yes. through someone's head <laughs> and remotely control them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's 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 all the information I needed. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make something wacky. <laughs> With that, I'm gonna take a mimosa sip. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank <laughs> You're you so welcome. much. Special thanks to the UCLA Brain Injury Research Center, UCLA Brain Sport, and the UCLA Department of Neurosurgery. There's some links in the description to some great literature, but if you're not one for reading, basically most people start feeling the effects of galvanic vestibular stimulation with one and a half milliamps of current passing through the electrode. And most studies don't exceed five milliamps of current to avoid pain. So we'll need a device that can be remotely controlled, that can pass current this way and this way, and that can provide at least 1.5 milliamps of current through a human head, but no more than five milliamps of current. To see me make that very device, uh, go ahead and check out Making Cerebro by clicking the card up here, or, or down here if you're on mobile, I think. Uh, I don't really know how cards work. Click somewhere. Thanks for watching.